Hello everyone. In this video, Windmill Software will demonstrate how to create attributes in Clarity PPN. Attributes are fields that can be displayed on objects like projects and resources. We can also use attributes when building portlets and reports. There are 14 different types of attributes in Clarity, like string, which is a text field, lookups, calculated, and dates. We'll focus on how to create the string attribute in this video. First, we need to navigate to the object we want to add the attribute to. To navigate to the object list, use the admin menu and click Objects. This page shows the list of objects in my system. I can use the filter to search for a specific object. For this example, I'll search for Project. From the list, I can select the project object. This populates the General Properties page of the project object. Now I'll move over to the Attributes tab. This page shows a list of all active attributes on the project object. I can see key information like attribute name, description, data type, default value, and database location. To create a new attribute, click on the New button. I need to give the attribute a name. I'll use a new attribute and an ID. I can choose the data type. For this example, I'll select string. Additional fields can populate based on the data type selected. For instance, if I choose a lookup, then I would need to provide the lookup name it is associated with. I can assign a default value to the field and add a maximum character limit. There are some additional fields I can fill out when I want an attribute to be read-only, if I want to use the attribute in the modern UX, and if I want the attribute to be used in the data warehouse. When I'm done, I can click Save and Return. Now I can paint this attribute to a page of the project using the Views tab. I'll put the new attribute on the Project Properties page. To access this specific page, Click on Layout Edit, then choose the Project Summary page, then select the Properties page icon next to the Project Summary section. Here I have the list of available attributes on the left and the selected attributes on the right. I'll select a new attribute and click the Move button to move it to the selected list. Then I'll click the Save and Return button. Now I can navigate to a project and see the newly created attribute. In this video, we have shown how to create a string attribute in Clarity PPM. We looked at how to build out the properties of the attribute and paint it to a screen to be viewed and updated by end users. You can find more videos demonstrating how to perform other functionalities of Clarity PPM on our website. For more advanced attribute configuration, reach out to your windmill associate or contact us using the information on the screen.